Okay, the next area that we're going to rough out are these little corner features. Here we're going to start from scratch again. I'm going to go ahead and select the face, right mouse button click, and choose end milling. Again, because I have a tool already selected, it's using that tool. Let's go check our feeds and speeds again, just to go through that again. Maybe this time instead of using RPM, feed rate, and coolant mode this way, I'm going to use surface feet. Maybe I want 650 surface feet, and I want a 5000s chip load. Cool. You notice everything I change here updates to the left over here, and vice versa. Again, I'm going to go ahead and set jet coolant. Then I'm going to go to my geometry button and select the other features that I want to machine. If I were you, I would experiment a lot with selecting various geometries to machine and even playing around with the various machining strategies here just to get a real firm understanding of how Top Solid looks at processing parts and making toolpath.